back. My name is Chris Saginelli. I get to build, buy, and sell simple prop businesses every single day. And today we're going to be talking about the happiness score and how we can leverage it to optimize for people, process, and profits, specifically profits in our pocket as profit-led businesses. So the happiness score is something that came out of personal experience. Uh, back in 2012, 2011 era, I was running an accelerator program in my hometown where I was investing in businesses and we were trying to get them going, right? So I was actually, you know, as a bootstrapper, I had built up a business, I had sold it, exited, I had some, some profits in my pocket and I was looking to, to deploy that capital or do something with it realistically. And at that moment in time, the thing that, that made sense for me was, hey, let's get some office space, which we did. We got a, a fairly large office. Uh, let's open up the doors and let's make investments into into businesses, into startups and help them get going, help them do what we just did, build a, a profitable business that could be sold. So we tried that. <laughs> and in the process, uh, one of the things that we we experienced was a lot of folks working very, very hard, diligently, spending, investing a ton of time to build their business. And there was quite a bit of frustration. Uh, one of the groups that that we were investing in I was a, it was a, a young team. I mean, I was young at the time, but they were in their early twenties and they were investing a ton of time. They were spending a lot of time in the office. Uh, a couple of them even were sleeping on the floor in the office a couple of days out of the week. And they were super passionate about what they wanted to do. And I could see that they were burning the candle at both ends. They were really grinding it out, putting in the hard work and they just weren't getting the traction. They weren't achieving what they wanted to. And one day I brought them into my office and I had a conversation with them. I said, you know, guys, like, are you sure this is what you want? Right. And <laughs> they looked at me with a little bit of surprise. And they're like, what do you mean, Chris? Of course, this is what we want. We're here. We're working so hard and you know, we're here every day. And I'm like, I know, guys, I know I see that. Right. I see that. And that's why I'm having this conversation with you. You know, but is this what you want? Like, are you happy doing this? Do you actually want to continue? And in that moment in time, I think it's the, it, was, it was like something just like clicked. And for the first time, they may have actually sat back and said, hey, are we happy? <laughs> Is this something that we actually want to do? And I remember going to my whiteboard, which, which I had a dry erase, like a marker paint that I painted all my walls with so we could write on the walls. And we came up with this concept for the happiness score. And we actually tried to mathematically figure out, you know, if this is something that would be a good decision for them to continue to do and invest with their life, if it was the right type of fit for them at the time. And there is there is something you know behind that, right? Fast forward now, I mean, I guess you know, over a decade later, you know, I'm realizing you know that that moment in time was special, and we deploy it today in our portfolio with every operator that we're investing in because people matter, right? And when we're looking at a business and we're trying to get positive returns on investments in a company, right? Or if we're building a business and we want to be, you know, as investors, getting positive returns for ourselves, you know, something that matters is the future cash flow, right? Present value of future cash flow. You know, how sustainable is this business going to be? And if we don't learn to optimize for people, right? If we don't build sustainable, you know, people led, I know we're talking about profit led businesses, but profit led businesses are, are really, you know, businesses that are organized in a manner that allow you to optimize for people because great people build great companies. And when people enjoy what they do, they tend to get better at it over time and they tend to want to do more of it. Right. And they don't burn, you know, the candle at both both ends. They do it in a sustainable manner, something that they're going to be able to do for a very, very, very long period of time. And when when great people get good at something that they're going to do for a really long period of time, there's a lot of potential in that scenario to put profit in your pocket. So when I was talking to those guys and I brought them into my office, my concern was, hey, this thing's not sustainable right? Like it's not sustainable for you. And if we could fix this, if we could figure out how to balance the equation and make this an enjoyable experience and make this a sustainable experience, I think that there's actually, 
you know, an outcome where we would have a higher profitability, probability of profitability. And that was the conversation I was having. Now, asterisk there at that moment in time in my life, even though I, I was a bootstrapper, you know, I had this chip on my shoulder that I needed to be in this, this venture world and the accelerator, we were trying to build, you know, venture velocity, you know, startup. So it was a different cultural moment in time for me, but a lot of the lessons, you know, that we, that I learned that I took out of that experience, I've been able to pull out and put into the portfolio that we're building today and the approach that we have, you know, as profit led business owners, bootstrapping better businesses, putting more profit in our, our pocket, right? The equation that we landed on, it's quite literally an equation potentially for happiness as a business owner, which is a crazy thing. And it's something that I don't think that we think about enough. I don't know if we necessarily feel maybe even guilty, perhaps thinking about our, our happiness as business owners, because a lot of what we're told to do as business owners is, is sacrifice, right? Put in the hard work. I mean, I say it myself, just show up every single day, put in the hard work, trust the process, commit to the journey. You know, but there's this other thing, right? There's a passion and a pursuit and there's a purpose and there, there needs to be, you know, a component of what we do that fills our tanks so that we can just show up every single day, put in the hard work, right? Trust the process, commit to the journey. And what are we landed on in terms of creating an equation to actually figure out if we could balance for happiness? right? Optimize for people. This is actually one of the core components of how we functionally can look at a business and start to optimize a business for people. And typically where we start is optimizing for ownership, right? We want to take, you know, an optimization approach to ownership because, you know, when an owner is in a sustainable position, there's a really good chance for longevity of profitability and security of the business for everybody else and everybody else, all the other stakeholders, our team members, uh, investors, customers, right? T customers, your community, right? So we want to get the owners in a, in a sustainable place. However, once we do that, we really want to move down the line and we want to take the same type of optimized for people approach to everybody in the business. And we really truly want to optimize the business over time. And a lot of what we do when we implement our, our equity management system inside of companies or when we're trying to promote a profit-led approach into a business is putting the structures and strategies in, in place where with accountability, you're really optimizing for people. You're trying to optimize for the happiness of the folks involved, which again, increases the sustainability, longevity of putting profit in your pocket. So when we look at the equation, what we what we landed on is a simple version of this equation. And now fast forward a decade later, you know, this is not the same exact uh, version that was originally up on my whiteboard, but it's a simplified version actually of it. And it works, right? This works. This is a simple concept that actually works and you could deploy it inside of your business. And we have a spreadsheet where you can actually go through it in a Google sheet and work through this very relatively quickly uh, to actually get to your own happiness score. But before we get into that spreadsheet and work through it, let's talk through what it is. So we take tank fillers, right? Which are all things that we enjoy doing inside of our business. And we wanna subtract out the tank emptiers, which are things that we don't like to do right? Tank fillers fill our tank, fill our joy, fill our happiness, fill our, our energy, right? Tank emptiness, drain that energy. If we only have a certain amount of energy, we can only do so much, right? So we want to be able to take our tank fillers, subtract out our tank emptiers. Now, if you're in a net negative situation, that's not great. What you're left with is the balance. And the next thing that we're going to add in for that balance is money, profit in our pocket. And what we look for here when we're figuring it out in the spreadsheet is uh, what we ideally aspire to be achieving, like what we believe that we should be compensated for the work that we're doing. Ideally, you know, slightly above market average. So like a target compensation. And then we look at what we are actually earning today and we wanna find the variance, the gap. 
right? And that's going to give us a percentile. So you have your tank fillers. So here's a, like the spreadsheet. I'll just go through it. You're going to go through all your tank fillers, your tank emptiers tied to brand equity, operational equity, building a better business, implementing like what goes into running the business on a day-to-day -day basis for operational excellence. You're going to just put a score of, you know, if it's a tank filler or a tank emptier, that's going to get you a score to balance out the equation there. Then you're getting to your financial satisfaction, your current income, how much you make, how much you ideally would like to make. And then that's going to give you a variance score, right? And then the final thing that you're adding in is time. How much time does it take? And you're going to do the same thing for a time balance, right? Current time that you're investing to complete all your activities. And then the ideal amount of time that you want to be spending, like those guys from the story I was sharing, like they were literally sleeping in the, I mean, I've done that too. Like I've slept on the floor in the past. It's not enjoyable. It's not sustainable right? Like these guys are doing it, working, you know, 18 hour days. That's not sustainable. You can't do that for 30 years. You can definitely work two hour days or four hour days for 30 years, right? So I want you to find the time balance. Now, when you do this, the byproduct becomes tank fillers and tank emptiers. Let's look a couple of variations of this equation first so we can appreciate it and then we'll explore deeper. One scenario, your tank emptiers you know, you're doing more things that you dislike than things that you like, you're left with a negative number here. Well, I hope that you're making a lot of money and I hope you're, you have a lot of free time so that you can balance that equation. Now, the reality is though, money's a short-term motivator. So even though for some folks in corporate America, et cetera, we, we justify the money to do things that we you know don't necessarily like doing and investing time away from our family or into you know, other places, not having the freedom to decide, you know, money is a short term motivator. Now, over the long term, when we're profit led, and we're focused on sustainability of profits over the longest period of time, what we really want to do is make sure that we have as many tank fillers as possible. Because if we enjoy doing it, we're going to do it no matter what, right? These are like, this is this is when you can take a something that you just genuinely enjoy and turn it into a great living making good money and still having all the time and freedom to, you know, be able to invest that money in other things, spend it with your family, invest it with your family, et cetera. When we can balance this equation, that's ultimately how we can optimize for happiness. And the reality is, is every business at the end of the day has wants and needs, and you can't always be happy, right? That's also a, a fact of the matter, right? Life is a real thing. It's not always, it's not always easy. It's definitely not always simple, right? It's a very real thing. And sometimes you gotta, you know, shovel the, 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 <laughs> the shit to ship it. Right. But ultimately, you know, when we boil it down, if we approach it with a balanced mind and the intention to be around for a really long period of time, putting profit in our pocket, we can assess through a very practical approach, which is what we do with the equity management system when we're folk, you know, working folks through implementing the equity management system in the business so that we could be profit led. We're inventorying the things that need to get done versus the things that we want to get done. And then what we, we want to do is you know, work on what we enjoy. So we really want to be able to you know, delegate everything else and ultimately by mapping ever all of this things, these things out in a very clear, structuralized, simple manner, it will help us empower us for that delegation successfully so that we know, you know ultimately how the money throws, fl flows through our business, through the throughput, how we support it, how we get to operational excellence, what we're measuring you know, that matters, and ultimately who's doing what, when, why, how, for the right reasons at the right time, you know, for the right outcomes which is what supports us to be able to get out of the things that you know we don't want and into the things that we do want right without specifically creating a risk so we don't want to create risk when we're balancing for happiness instead we want to take a pragmatic approach a practical approach and we want to just appreciate our business and you know that's why we have the equity management system it's a structured way for us to be able to to appreciate our business with accountabilities frameworks in place so that we can then, you know, 
ultimately find ourselves in a, in a balanced position that can be optimized around people. And when we do this, we end up focusing on the, the tank fillers and we delegate away the tank emptiers, which leaves us as business owners with more time, better profitability, and a more sustainable business, which will put more profit in our pocket over time. Now, as we do this, we are also doing it for ourselves first, but then we start to do it for others, right? And the goal is to, to be able to mature your equity management system or mature your business, your profit-led business over time through each of the five exits of ownership, right? So that as you're maturing it through each of the five exits of, of ownership, because you're always exiting, you're systematically simplifying and then optimizing your entire business system for the people involved. And as you're, as you're maturing through each exit, you know, realistically, there tends to be more people involved. So you're systematically doing it better, right? Until eventually you have a fairly sophisticated, you know, business system that, that works and it functions. And maybe your exit four, exit five, where you no longer have to do the work on a day-to-day -day basis. All right. That's the end of, of this video. And until next time, trust the process, commit to the journey. See you in the next video.